guys, Kalihandro here and welcome back to another episode of Kalihandria. In this episode, we're going to be continuing uh, the Kanluran Central Business District project and we're going to be doing some expansions with transportations and we're going to be we're going to be having a special build as you've seen in the title. Um, we're going to be building a monorail station. Well, we're actually expanding the monorail line. And we are going to be building a new shopping mall in the Kalanluran CBD. So first you're seeing on the screen is that I'm building, I'm expanding the transportation network of the capital with the construction of the Eastern Monorail Line which is a joint venture by the Kanduran city government and the capital to connect all the major urban centers in the region and to ease traffic congestion in the Timugan corridor, which is this avenue that you see right here. Because these stations are located in one of in the in the busiest parts of the city and they will serve as guides to on what we're going to be building in the next in the future episode so each station will have so we have two stations i mean four stations kaluran station which is this station right here the next station is the station for the downtown area which still doesn't have a name so if you have any suggestions for the name of the downtown um comment down below what you wanna what you think and um the next station is going to be the Eastwood station. So, if you've seen my past episodes, you've seen, you've known that I've built Eastwood, which is one of another one of the um, large developments, urban developments in Calihandria. Um, we're gonna have a station in that because I have an empty plot there. I have two large plots, one on on each side and then the other side, and one of those plots as the station so I'm planning on building another mall there uh, a huge building because this is another prime real estate in the country um, I'm planning on the downtown to be filled mostly with skyscrapers uh, mostly offices and luxury residences because it's, it's a very nice place to live in it's close to everything and you're near station so public transport it's a win-win situation for anyone investing in the region um, and the last station is the one near the old capital and it will also serve as the, um, the uh, hub, the depot for where the trains will come from if it was in your life. And yep, that's it. That's the Eastern Monterey Line. Uh, that's uh, that's why I have what I have in store for you guys in the future. So if you want to keep up to date and be i mean be up to date with the latest and see those projects um become reality um comment down below i mean subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you would be notified if i ever upload a video i mean i will upload a video it's just we're just not sure what time i mean when it's going to be uploaded but it will come it will come soon it depends on the situ circumstances but. So yeah, um, getting back to what we, what I'm doing here on screen, um, I'm building a custom intersection. I'm using a, I'm detailing the intersection using the intersection marking tool, which is such an amazing tool. I mean, you can literally make any old bland intersection or uh, intersections that technically wouldn't work if you just had it not detailed and because there are pathways under that so I placed um, surfaces and added these lines so that it would, people would be guided on where to go and just not just like a big empty gray area and yeah so this road uh, we're going to be having another one like this in the future I did it I just didn't have enough time um, doing it so yeah uh, one it's a four-way it's the avenue connected to a two-lane road and there are dedicated left turns and right turn lanes and as you've seen I've covered I've placed 
one of the lanes in the avenue is is not accessible because the pillars for the monorail stations are uh, need support and you can't have a pillar and then just a road someone might might crash onto the pillar because I don't have that many assets and there aren't that many assets um, with the monorail so. and also this monorail fits the theme of what we're building which is a modern futuristic kind of station in the heart of the city so yeah as you've seen as you can see I am fixing what I did because I this I connected it was misconnected it's misconnected a word Discon it's not connected properly um, yeah so I'm reconnecting it because the old connection was not lined properly it was connected to the early lanes so if you want to learn more about how I make these intersections um, leave a comment down below because I would I would be glad to make a tutorial on different kinds of intersections and I might even do them in the future so the intersection that I'm building here is kind of a single point urban interchange but not with highways so you're gonna see it in action here on the preview and that was the Kanluran station for the monorail line and now we're done with the station and detailing the road we're going to be going on to the mall which is if you are from the philippines you would know from the uh, thumbnail that this is and the title of the video from the start that this is uh this is a mall from the philippines i used custom assets i mean i used different assets to make this um custom mall that i built so i used the modular european buildings and the and in the end of the and in further down the video you will see that i used the robinson small asset which i just used as a sign um, uh, clipping in buildings is kind of hard because you have to find buildings which have the diff uh, which have similar similar styles similar uh, architectures or something that blend nicely so find um, this asset pack from the european asset pack is kind of nice for making it's actually very nice for making custom builds like this super mall i mean this shopping mall i, I am planning on making a larger mall but i haven't finished the plans for the future development uh, the city is still a bit um, barren it's just grids and i'm planning on not making it too gritty because it, it doesn't look pleasing even though it's the plan uh, the city i mean the city skylines is I, they have huge maps but i'm planning on taking an approach where there's a lot of things in the map even though it's unrealistically close from each, from each other yeah that's the plan at least um this mall i actually planned on having an outdoor mall directly connected but so that didn't work out so i just tried using this uh the ocean city mall with, which is an outdoor mall separate from the mall so i just i think this is just you know the an old shopping area which the mall purchased but didn't want to you know, didn't want to redevelop because it's quite an historic i'm gonna give a little bit of history maybe this was the first shopping mall in there and they they just retrofitted it to uh to better suit the robinson's place kanluna which is what i'm gonna name it but if you have any other name suggestions for this mall i would gladly appreciate to hear it in the comment section down below but yeah I'm adding in green roofs because the city needs to be green and the roofs are white so they I mean green roofs as I said in the last episode they they are they can be a catchment basin they store rainwater and they have direct they are directly connected to the sewage system of the city I mean the water system which will save the city money and which will it will also save from flooding so it's win-win situation and now i'm building in here the pathways 
the pathways near the parking lot, the, the front of the mall. Um, the mall has direct access to the uh, monorail station because uh, I have a little bit of history, giving it a little bit of history, I get a background, a bit of depth. So this is the history on why this mall, on why they decided to build this mall. So as part of the urban development for the, for the Kanluran Central Business District, the Robinsons Corporation partnered with CATA, which is CATA, the Kalihandian Transport Authority, by financing the construction of the Kanluran Station, with the premise of them developing developing the large parcel of land beside it, which is what we're building here, into a new retail and commercial area, which is going to be, you guessed it, Robinson's Place, Kanlura. So yeah, a little bit of history there on why this area was chosen by the Robinson's Corporation. Because the other mall, Luxarian Mall, has direct access to the high-speed rail and the Araya development has direct access to the interchange. Um, you know, everything is everything is properly um, has um, a bit of realism to it on where things are placed and how things are placed and why they're there and the things and their purpose. You know, I'm adding a little bit of billboards because a mall has to have billboards, especially here in the Philippines. Basically, a mall is just a square box, mainly a square box filled with billboards on the sides and some parts of it have um, large glass panes and some even have open plans just depends on what kind of mall you have because SM I think is mostly um, squarish um, Ayala fits more with the um, surroundings and Robinson's kind of look, looks like they have a little bit of curve into them you know detailing the sides not adding too much green because there's really a lot of plants on the side we would want to make it too much uh, so yeah we're adding in some lights because it's dark and nobody wants to say outside the mall when it's dark because you never know what people what might happen outside so now you're seeing me placing the Robinson small asset and I'm going to be using it as a sign just only as the logo for it bill uh, which you're going to be seeing in now I didn't say this before getting into the um, to the preview, but I actually added some um, wall trees, wall foliage to the sides because uh, I just wasn't happy with the transition because the building, Robinson's building, was originally yellowish, creamish, and the mall asset, the building, was gray. So I used what's the op used the opposite color which is purple so i used purple to make it gray because a little bit of color theory here i think they're complementary colors so when the colors are mixed together they cancel out and they become dis desaturated so you just have to find the perfect the right balance to get the um desired color and the robinson's asset was a bit too dark and the building was too light so i just placed um, foliage to the side to the where they um, the um, what do you call this the transition the transition that we put and also because you know greenery everywhere yeah environment climate change is real again everybody it's 2021 will people realize that it's actually real um, now I'm building in the parking lot and this is an underground entrance because the terrain difference here is quite large so Kanluran is quite low lying. I mean, it's not that low lying; it's mid lying. And then the upper part is very high. So half of the mall is at the level, and then the other part is a bit higher. So that's why the they didn't decide to uh, change the um, Ocean City Mall. So yeah, maybe I don't know. Uh, so now I'm just leveling the ground, detailing, and now I'm going to be building the 
Apple Store, which I didn't actually expect that I would be placing. I was just placing in some buildings to fill it in. But when I was looking for commercial buildings to place, I found this asset that I had of the Apple Store. And it's, and you know, Apple Stores, I guess I haven't been to one, but they're always at one of the um, busiest or the main main entrances at the center at the heart of the mall so this one i think i took inspiration from the dubai apple store which has views of the um burj khalifa so yeah and also this is like an entrance to the city uh to the mall and and it has direct access to the station so if anybody just want to just wants to grab a quick um pair of earphones or airpods they can go and get it in the city whoop buy it not, i mean in an instant you know and their services you know, on arrival and i also had a bit of a problem here with the people walking on the road because the road that i'm using the madrid streets i think um the outside lanes have bicycle and pedestrian paths and the monorail here i just sunk down i mean pro tip guys i forgot um sink down the monorail so that you can have like so this is the monorail with the road below it so if i remove the road it will also remove the monorail above it so i just sank a little bit so that the road of the monorail would be below the what the road i have here if that makes sense and uh they have baths in them so i use custom roads so that people won't use that anymore as you've seen a while ago and i'm also changing the apple store a bit in hue because it's too bright it's too white it was unrealistically white especially in an outside setting uh, it has to be a little bit gray not that much but a little bit more like silver al aluminium as johnny ive said damn it miss johnny ive i miss his voice in the apple commercials but anyways getting back on track i am just recoloring everything making everything look seamless seamlessness is what we're trying to achieve um, with the assets that I have you just have to make things work get it make it work 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 um, yeah, so this one turned out a bit too dark so I'm just gonna lighten that up later uh, I'm just using the these um, wall foliage as transitions and so yeah that's what I have for the um, this part of the mall at the station and I'm gonna be giving, giving you guys a bit of a free free view uh, preview right now So that has been the Apple Store and the station side of the mall. And now we're going to be detailing, I mean finishing the um, outside mall. And I think that I should be placing um, glass pane roof on top of it because this is a tropical area and it gets quite hot. So, And also rain. Topics have plenty of rain because tropical rain forests like that. But anyway, so I'm going to be placing that in the next episode. Or you can comment down below if whether or not I should or should not place a uh, glass roof in it. But I think I'm going to be placing them anyway. So yeah, I'm detailing it. I'm fixing. I'm adding in another parking lot here because I there was literally they, we were lacking a lot of parking because we only had the one building on the side and then we only have the that one on the, the right side the the one not in the building so it's pretty lacking and i'm using this um once again i'm using this um, greenhouse asset from the modular office packs um to use as uh, another type of roof like a floating thingy um, uh, it can also be walkway so it's also a part of the mall and here I'm, also, I'm using the surface pack the pavement concrete I think it's near the pa pavement um, surface and I'm going to be adding in another green roof here using uh, um, surfaces grass surfaces and elevated elevated pathways nobody actually can go here if you have any tips on how people can um, go on elevated places because I'm not 
connecting these these pants are not actually connected so is there just purely aesthetics and it doesn't serve any purpose in the game but in real, in, if this was in real life it would be like a uh, park and event center or where people gather to have like you know, small gatherings take a view enjoy the surroundings or whatnot but yeah oh i guess we're nearing it oh, we're actually nearing the end of the episode um, thank you guys so much for watching. I again I had a blast building this episode because It's so hard building when you have like an empty um, uh, Plot of land just or an empty place without roads or anything so having giving yourselves like step-by-step -step, um, you know, Plans on what to get like making um, organizing your workflow uh, which I have a hard time doing um, really saves a lot of time and it um, stops you from having a burnout, creative burnouts when building, which I unfortunately have that's had experienced in the past few weeks, weeks, weeks. That's why I didn't release that much videos and that's why I'm releasing a lot of videos lately. So if you want to see more videos like this, and I have a lot in store for you guys. Um, Comment down below, leave a like because the algorithm likes that and don't forget to, once again, don't forget to subscribe because your subscription means a lot to me and that's mean you're supporting me grow and you're supporting the, you're supporting my um, plans on sharing this to the world, you know, sharing Kalihandia to everybody so that everybody will experience this, um, what we're experiencing here. Well, what I think, what my beliefs are. This is my way of um, sharing my thoughts and ideas and expressing myself through City Skylines. So, come leave. I'm not used to this though, but. Anyways, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Comment down below what you want to see next and subscribe. Hit the bell notification so that you would be. You would learn. <laughs> Hit the bell notification so you would stay up to date with the latest from Alejandro the Republic of Calihandria. Uh, if you've reached the end of this video, I'm also planning on creating a Minecraft series soon. It's mostly gonna be building. So, that's it. This is the end of the video. It's been Calihandro, and see you on the next one.